Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. Tuesday, September 26, our market rallied 91.10 points or up 1.48% to close at 6,263.94. Value turnover is at 5.9 billion pesos. So our market outperformed the region uh, due to an off-cycle rebalancing. So, what's the implication here? Bakit ang lakas ang market? Remember, uh, MPI uh, is officially dropped from the index. Uh, of course, replacing MPI is CNPF. Effective today yun. No? So, but that is not one for one. No? Yun yung tingin lang natin. No? You replace MPI with CNPF. But we also need to factor in the weight of MPI. No? Hindi naman sila equally weighted. Yung, yung tinanggal sa index, medyo mas malaki yung size. So they, they need to reallocate some uh, additional weight on other uh, blue chip. No? So this is also the reason why it pushed the market higher. So, but it's not sustainable, no? So that's around 28.4 billion uh, reflected uh, block transaction at the runoff. No? So CNPF replace uh, MPI effective tomorrow. Congratulations to CNPF holders. And remember, 10 years ago CNPF listed uh, in the exchange at around 1350, 1370. No, di ko masarap Of course, the business model is very. Uh, strategic no so it took them a while but eventually naging index that's the plan of every listed companies no so the fastest company na ilagay sa index is converge no after being listed a few months ni list na kaagad second uh, based on my uh, memory lang no is i think wilcon wilcon in less than 5 years na nilagay rin siya sa index so anyway, not much activity in the market, no? So ah, but there's a buy, uh, buyback program. So the broker transaction uh, it will be guild, no? So 45 million for a period of two years. So let's monitor if there's some movement or not. But bahala kayo. I'm personally not touching, no? It's just good to observe. Uh, what else? FGen confirms that EDC's intention to increase its thermal energy output in the next three years of course EDC uh, used to be listed of course it's now delisted no? so let's see no? if FGen FGen public float also dropped to 11% no? after KKR bought two tranches the past a few years Mega World launched its six residential condominium tower in Taguig and is expected to bring around 29 billion in sales no? so uh, Megaworld is just consolidating uh, near 2 pesos. No? So, of course, it's undervalued. It's a matter of when lang. No? Metro Bank has been recognized by Asian Banker as the strongest bank in the Asia-Pacific region for three straight years. Congratulations. No? So, DMCI also, uh, their unit, DMCI Mining, is, is scheduled to open two new sites, two new mine sites in the coming months, FYI. And of course, BPI is uh, preparing the second tranche of its bond offering under its 100 billion debt program to support its expansion. Of course, the biggest move nila uh, this year is the acquisition of Robinson's Bank. It will give them access to uh, Robinson's Bank's digital bank, which is yung go time. Ayala Land and its listed real estate investment trust is also eyeing the development of the biggest edge zero carbon portfolio in the country by end of 2025. So ICTSI's unit in Mexico and Colombia achieved also an operational milestone after receiving the 396 meter long vessel which it claims to be the first of its size to operate in Latin. America. No? So, of course, if you are not familiar with ICTSI, it's just the biggest uh, independent operator in the world, port operator. So, yung mga kalaban niya, Marks, of course, it's backed by a bigger company talaga. Talagang proud Pinoy. So, DFNN also sold its wholly owned unit, Nico Bayan, to Vanguard Investment for 2 million pesos as they streamline its current technology operations. 
Sir Miguel, by the way, uh, clarified that its power unit and its subsidiaries are still able to meet its financial obligations despite uh, higher fuel prices. Uh, so, Phil Invest bond offering also secured the highest issue credit rating and stable outlook from Philippine Rating Services Corporations. So, our passcode is Metro Bank. No? So, boring na market. No? So, everyone's busy with Hamilton. Mas excited pa mga tao. No? can see them posting uh, pictures of their Hamilton ticket. No? So, AEV, uh, their fixed rate retail bonds were around 17.48 uh, 45 billion were also listed in PDEX no, last week. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for listening. No, stay safe. God bless. Bye.